Picture this. You're just casually scrolling through your phone when suddenly you come across a photo of yourself, or maybe someone you know, completely altered to appear naked. The image is fake, but it looks shockingly real. Sounds like something out of a nightmare, right? Well, for thousands of women and girls worldwide, this isn't just a bad dream. It's their horrifying reality. How AI Nudify Sites Work So, how do these sites even work? The process is as simple as it is terrifying. These websites use advanced AI algorithms to take any photo you upload and, within seconds, create a fake nude image. They're powered by deep learning models, like some of the earlier versions of Stable Diffusion, which can swap faces onto explicit bodies with unsettling accuracy. What's even scarier? These sites are ridiculously easy to find. They're drawing in millions of visitors every month. Some of them even offer these services for free, while others charge a small fee. But whether it's free or not, the damage they cause is very real. Imagine you're just browsing the web and you stumble upon one of these sites. A quick Google search can bring you directly to them, and these sites often rank pretty high in search results. They're marketed as tools that let you see anyone naked with just a few clicks. This means that this dangerous technology is out there for almost anyone with an internet connection to use. The people running these sites, they stay hidden in the shadows, but the impact of what they're doing is massive and painfully real. These AI nudify sites aren't just some technical curiosity or harmless prank. They represent a severe violation of privacy, and the consequences are devastating. The way these sites are marketed often downplays the significant harm they cause. Some of them even provide detailed guides on how to get the most realistic results, making it even easier for people to exploit others. The Real World Impact on Victims Let's get into the real world impact of all this. The people being targeted by these sites are almost always women and girls. Their photos, which are often stolen from social media, are turned into explicit content without their consent. But it doesn't stop there. This content is then used to harass, blackmail, and exploit them. The victims include high-profile celebrities, everyday people, and even minors. The invasion of privacy is total, and the damage it causes is immense. The psychological impact is where things get really dark. Victims often experience severe anxiety, depression, and an overwhelming sense of violation. Think about it. Knowing that your image has been manipulated and shared without your consent is terrifying. One particularly heartbreaking case comes from Spain, where a mother found an AI-generated image of her young daughter. The image was so realistic that, for a moment, even she thought it was real. The trauma this caused is beyond words, and unfortunately, this isn't an isolated incident. Many victims end up withdrawing from social life, terrified that anyone they meet might have seen these fake images. And it doesn't stop at the mental toll. The social consequences are brutal. Reputations get destroyed, relationships crumble, and victims often find themselves isolated. They're left wondering if anyone they meet has seen these manipulated images. The stigma attached to these photos can linger for years, haunting every aspect of their lives, from friendships to job opportunities. This kind of digital violence leaves scars that don't fade easily. The ripple effects don't stop with the victims themselves. Families, friends, and loved ones are also caught in the crossfire. Parents feel helpless and unable to protect their children from this kind of exploitation. Spouses and partners are dragged into the mess, dealing with the indirect effects of the violation. The damage spreads, affecting entire communities and social networks. It's a ripple effect of harm that reaches far beyond the initial victim. The legal and ethical battles. So, what's being done to fight back? Legally, we're in tricky territory. There are laws against revenge porn, child pornography, and non-consensual intimate imagery, but applying these laws to AI-generated content is a whole new challenge. The people behind these sites often exploit loopholes, making it tough to hold them accountable. Enter David Chu, San Francisco's city attorney. He's not sitting idly by. Chu has filed a groundbreaking lawsuit against 16 of the biggest AI nudify sites out there, his goal? To shut them down and hit them with fines. $2,500 for every single violation of California's consumer protection laws. If this lawsuit succeeds, it could set a powerful precedent, paving the way for more legal actions against similar sites. But even if Chu wins, this fight is far from over. 
The technology behind these sites is evolving at a rapid pace, and the law will need to keep up to protect victims. There's also a bigger ethical conversation happening here. Is it right for AI developers to create tools that can be so easily abused? Shouldn't tech companies be doing more to prevent their products from being misused in this way? Some might argue that the developers aren't responsible for how their tech gets used. But let's be honest, the potential for harm is massive. Safeguards need to be put in place to prevent this kind of abuse. And let's not forget, this isn't just a local issue, it's global, which makes enforcement even more challenging. Many of these site operators are based in countries where the laws are either different or not enforced at all. That makes getting justice for victims or shutting down these sites a massive uphill battle. The ethical implications extend to the broader AI community as well. As AI technology continues to advance, developers and companies must grapple with the unintended consequences of their innovations. The potential for misuse is enormous, and the responsibility to prevent harm cannot be ignored. This raises important questions about the role of ethical guidelines and the need for industry-wide standards to ensure that AI is used responsibly. Additionally, this situation raises critical questions about the role of tech companies in regulating their platforms. Should companies like Google, Apple, and others be more proactive in monitoring and removing these types of apps and websites from their ecosystems? Many argue that these tech giants have a moral responsibility to ensure that their platforms are not being used to perpetuate harm. This includes not only removing harmful content, but also implementing better preventive measures to stop these sites from gaining traction in the first place. Fighting back against AI nudify sites. So, how can we fight back against these AI nudify sites? There's no single solution, but efforts are being made from all directions. Law enforcement is trying to crack down, tech companies are stepping up their game, and activists are working hard to raise awareness. The FBI has even issued warnings about the rise of extortion schemes involving AI-generated pornography. And some tech giants, like Google, have started to bury search results for deepfake-related queries, making it harder for people to find these sites in the first place. But let's not kid ourselves. There's still a long way to go. The anonymity of the internet makes it incredibly difficult to track down the people running these sites. And with the sheer amount of content being churned out, law enforcement agencies are often overwhelmed. That's why it's so important for tech companies to do their part too. By tightening up content moderation and improving how they detect AI-generated explicit content, they can make these harmful sites less visible and accessible. Payment processors and hosting services can also cut ties with these platforms making it harder for them to operate. Moreover, grassroots movements and advocacy groups can play a significant role in bringing about change. By organizing campaigns, petitions, and even direct action, these groups can put pressure on both governments and tech companies to take the issue more seriously. The more public outcry there is, the more likely it is that meaningful change will happen. It's a collective effort that requires the involvement of everyone from individual users to large organizations to effectively combat the spread of these harmful AI tools. The future of AI-generated content. Looking ahead, the future of AI-generated content is both exciting and a bit scary. On one hand, the potential for positive uses of AI is enormous, but on the other hand, the risks are just as big. This ongoing battle against AI nudify sites is a wake-up call. We need to stay vigilant about how we develop and use these technologies. The rise of AI nudify sites shows us just how dark technology can get if it's misused. These platforms have caused unimaginable harm to women and girls all over the world, turning their images into tools for exploitation. But with efforts like David Chu's lawsuit, there's hope that we can start turning the tide. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.